can't yeah. believe what I've just done. You won't believe it either. <sighs> Come on, look. Right. This car is a pain in the backside sometimes. Right. So I've only got to drop my keys down the handbrake hall of doom. Timing's unbelievable because I was just going to go and fit a cover to fill that hole, which we're actually giving away. So stay tuned for that. Now I've got to rescue my keys before we can start. Right, I think I'm going to be able to get at it with this extending magnet. So let's give it a go. Hopefully, I can get them out. If ever you have this problem, as you want to do, get one of these extendable magnets and we'll be able to get at this. So. Oh, I think I got it. Stuck on something. Oh, I got them. I got them. Oh, they're attached to something. They're attached to something. What's that? I know what these are. These are my emoji pan cell. How did I get snagged in here? I can't get them out. <laughs> My emoji pants! Oh, I'll be looking for them. I told her that was a hole of doom, didn't I? So if ever you lose your box of shorts, or probably you'll find another missing sock, you always end up with one sock instead of the pair of two of Edison and Ambre hole of doom. Right. Let's have a look what we're going to remedy this situation with then. We have here a handbrake hole filler and this is made by DC 3D Designs. That is a beautiful piece of 3D printing. So we're going to get it fitted but the interesting thing is if you would watch my video previously is we have two of these to give away. So stay tuned until later and I'm going to give a full rundown of how easy it is going to be for you to enter and win one of them. Well actually we've got two. There's two in the bag here and chances for you to win one. So get this in my car and then we'll pop back in and we'll run through the rules. Stick around. Right so it's time to get this fitted now and that is the Hall of Doom. Things go down there and never to be seen again. It's a really stupid design. When the handbrake is down, look, the hole is covered nicely. But as soon as you pull the handbrake up, then that great hole appears and things disappear down. So your keys come out your pocket, plop, and go straight down there. So let's get this fitted. What you have to do is a little swab that comes with the kit. Now on DC. 3D Designs website, they have their own installation video which explains it quite well so I'll just paraphrase. You're going to clean the back area here because on the back of your piece is an adhesive part that's going to what's going to stick and keep yourself there. So handbrake down, foot on the brake or in gear, whichever you're going to do. So I say I'm going to clean this back area here with a swab and then we press it into place. Got to get your little cleaning swab out. Give it a nice little clean. Chuck out in it with the rest of the mess for the wife to clean out one day. Right, so we're going to let that dry off now because it's alcohol based. So we'll give that five, ten minutes, let it evaporate up, and then we'll get ready to stick in this in. Right, so what you do is you take your part and peel off the adhesive back in like so and then what you're going to do is push it down into place yes I watched the video it's not like I've done it before but I did watch the video so you push it down or keeping some distance from the back I don't want it oh, I don't want it to stick until it's down where I want it I can guarantee I'll get this wrong now. Let me push him down. Something like that. And then give him a nice firm press. 
backwards in this direction so it's nice and tight. That's quite cool looking. Nice little bit of SD design there. So that is that. Then when you click up your handbrake, nothing will fall down there. So now I'm not gonna lose my keys, nor my box of shorts or anything else that I value, so I'm pretty happy with that. Right, we're gonna get in the house now and we're gonna set about explaining what you can do to win one of these, so let's get inside. Right, so fast forward a couple of hours now we're in the house. So, as you've seen, this is what you're gonna win. They're all bagged up, ready for you. Right, we've got a piece of paper here, and Ellie is gonna write the number between one and 200. She's gonna write that number on the paper, seal it in an envelope, and that's gonna be sealed up for about a week from the time this video is posted, and then we'll open it back up and announce the winner. So, how do you win? Well, first of all, let's get down to the rules. So, do you wanna see the rules? There they are. That, that's the rules. Right, this is pretty random, but she just came home from Asda with all these rulers. I don't know. Anyway, let's get down to the proper rules. Right, so you must be a subscriber and you must like this video. It's gonna be rude if you don't. Uh, also, go and visit the link in below for DC3D Designs website. And follow me on Instagram because I'm going to need a way of contacting the winner to get your address. And please share with your friends. So do all of those nice stuff because we'd be nice to you. You'd be nice back to us. Right, so as I said, Ellie's going to put a number on that piece of paper. The number is going to be between 1 and 200. You can make two guesses because there is two to give away. So no one person is going to win the two. Don't worry about that. So you can make two guesses on a number that you think she's going to put in there. But those two guesses must be in two separate comments. I don't want to put in two numbers in one comment. So if you put two numbers in one comment, I'm only going to take the first number. So make sure your two votes for the numbers will go in two separate comments. So the closest guesses to Ellie's number wins. Simple as that, it's not rocket science. If there is multiples who get the number exactly right or get close, then we're just going to put your um, names into a hat and just draw it up random because at the end we've only got two to give away. If ten of you win the right number, we can't give ten away. I'm going to have to find a way of, of doing that. So that's how we will deal with a tie. And the last rule is don't be critical of the way this is run because at the end of the day it's just a bit of fun, just trying to give something back to you. Um, it might not be the most perfect run competition, but it will be fair, it'll be honest, and that's all I can offer to you. If you're not happy with that, then I can't help you. But hopefully you are happy and you are interested in winning one of these. At the end of the day, you get an £11 product delivered to your door for nothing, and it's a great product. You won't realise how important that is until you drop your keys down inside that hole. Trust me. I've done it. And if you can't suck them out with a magnet, like I did earlier, it is a nightmare. Let me show you the, the amount of work that you will have to go to to try and retrieve something that's non-magnetic. Look at this picture I'm going to put in now. That was me uh, trying to retrieve something that was pretty difficult to get out of that hole. So, anyway, I think we've covered everything. Have I covered all the rules? Yeah. Does that sound sensible to you? Does it make sense? Right, so that is it from the end of this video now. Start commenting your number and we will speak to you soon. So don't forget to like, comment, share and you better subscribe. If you put a number comment down and you're not subscribed, it's going to be big trouble. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Actually, I'll see you when we announce the results. Thank you, bye.